we try to remove all the barriers, as I said, in the mainstream schooling. That school fees, you go to school, even though you don't have school fees. You go to school, even though you don't have uniform. You go to school, even though you don't have shoes. So the doors are open. Our key is to open doors and remove all those barriers to allow children to come to school. We know that there are other needs, but when you come to school, we start to interact with you. Then we can see how we can work with you to change the situation. Oh, the most challenging thing for the children in their daily life is that, you know, people will abuse them. They use them as errand boy. Some people use them to carry loads for market people, for fishmongers to the lorry parks. Some drivers use them as transport conductors. You know, they need parenting, more care. You know, that will help them. That's why we set up the Godwin Child Welfare Committee. It's a local committee with local people, you know, poor and old them um, refugee parents, which we put in care of some of these orphan children to help in a way and then um, we monitor their activity and then um, we try to make keep the, the community alive by sensitizing about the right of these kids, mm -hmm. you know, because the kids is just like they don't have rights, you know, and we, th we, th we thought that's not right for human beings, you know, and the children, they are part of us and they are our future leaders. Usman in uh, the 2003, they were, you know, some of the children that were released. And uh, after the mobilization or whatsoever, they did not benefit in anything because they were taken by soldiers or rebels. And when they were released, they were just released to child protection agencies to cater for them. But that was short lived, and so they were in this community. He was, he was one of them who was in this community. We met him, we encouraged him, we counseled him, and we moved with the community members, the community leaders were able to give him to foster care. And he had been, you know, with us in school. And I think he was aggressive initially. He felt with that sense of low esteem, self-esteem. And But now he's not aggressive. He's loving, he's very helpful, and he's obedient, and he's expressive in a positive way. If you can change the life of one child to become somebody and that can affect society positively, it's really a joy. Mr. Conte Puyeye, Sale Melania Pateni, Gulu Malusu Kunyo, come and take your books. Come on, take your books, you boy. Come on, take your books, you girl. Come on, take your books. Mr. Panya Puyeye, Sale Melania Pateni, Gulu Malusu Kunyo. Come on, take your books, you boy. Come on, take your books, you girl. Come on, take your books. Okay, stand up. Come on, take your books. Clap with me. Come on, take your books. Clap with me. Come on, take your books. <laughs>